Spider-Man. So this is Black Suit Spider-Man. The Black Symbiote Spider-Man. Transported to an alien world by a mysterious beyonder alongside dozens of other heroes and villains from Earth, Spider-Man in, is in the fight of his life, pitted against villains from, for more powerful than any he has faced before. It's all he can do, just stay alive and protect his fellow heroes. With a costume and web shooter destroyed, his first priority is to keep things decent. When he encounters a mysterious high-tech costume making machine, he's more than willing to give it a shot. The result is a slick new costume with a whole host of new powers seemingly designed specifically to give him the extra edge he needs. Height 5'10", weight 167, real name Peter Benjamin Parker. Identity secret, alias, webhead, affiliation, none. Powers, enhanced strength and reflexes, wall crawling, spider sense. Spider-Man is part of the Marvel Legends um, build a figure here. And he comes with the left arm. So you could build the Red Hulk, which is a really, really nice figure. I don't have it right now, but I might get it in the future. And uh, it comes with Wolverine. I'm going to get him. I really like that figure. Silver Surfer, Spiral Head, Union Jack, Black Costume Spider-Man, and Adam Warlock. So it's a, it's just a really cool um, Hulk. I wish they would have done a green version of this guy, but of this body. See now, uh, <clears throat> this Spider-Man, this body they use for this Spider-Man. I don't know if there's anything better than this body because this 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 type of body that they engineered for Marvel Legends has amazing uh, articulation. It's like I don't know if there if there's a better one. Uh, look, he has 360 for the head. It goes up and down but the angle of the range look at that goes all the way down and all the way up and his his neck is sort of like on a on an angle so just the head itself has so much you know possibility and 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 posability so and then his his arm goes 360 in and out but check this out, they put another joint in here, which uh, what I call is a scapula joint, which basically you can go like this and back forth. So that's just freaking awesome. You know that? I mean, that's like, I mean, this is Spider-Man. He's supposed to be one of the most flexible, posable figures, right? Because he's, he's a Spider-Man. So that's, this is awesome. He has double jointed arms. He has a radius joint right here. A swivel joint and he has a, a wrist joint that goes back and forth and it turns as, as well I would have wished they would have put the uh, famous spider-man um, hands like this you know poses like that but uh, he just uh, they just made them like that so you know no figure is perfect but now this is one of my favorite parts of the spider-man his his uh, chest joint is freaking awesome. Look at this; it goes all the way down. You know that's that's just really rare. Most figures don't do this. You know, and it goes all back. See, but look at that. I mean, that's freaking awesome. You want to pose your Spider-Man? This is it. This is the one you should get. Um, has 360 at the waist. You know, it should be a default. You know, these kind of joints. The chest joint, the waist joint, the, uh, you know, this is the type of body I wish all the, uh, you know, most of the figures would have, you know. Or they should develop a, a different body, a bigger body for more massy characters like the Hulk, you know, they can do all these things. But 
unfortunately, I don't know, maybe the engineers can't do it or maybe, I don't know, but this, this freaking Spider-Man rocks. He has the classics uh, Marvel Legends joint here, which you can go back and forth. And you could, it's sort of like a rotation joint, it works, it's, it's a new type of joint they're using. It rotates and you can move it up and down wherever you want and it has a thigh right here. So you can rotate that. It has a double joint here at the knees. It has a joint right here, a swivel joint right uh, below the knee. And it has a ankle joint that goes up and down. He doesn't have a toe, toe joint, which would have been cool if they would have added that. But like I said, no figure is perfect. And this is Black Costume Spider-Man. He got this in Secret Wars. Uh, I used to have that comic book, Secret Wars number 8, I think. He he got the costume from this machine where everybody, all those, the other superheroes were getting costumes fixed because they were in these battles. So Spidey just went up to the machine and thought of something and the machine made the costume. But it was a, uh, some kind of alien costume that turned out to be Venom. So... Yeah, that's a whole nother story. So this is one of the best Spider-Man I recommend it to anyone who's a Spidey fan. Or whoever just wants to have a Spider-Man figure, this is it, you know. I just wish they would have made a red costume version of this exact body, you know. But they didn't get to because they stopped making, I guess, the Marvel Legends during this time. and. Then they started making the little ones, the three-inch ones, so too bad. I would have wished that they made a, a red costume Spider-Man like this, and a Scarlet Spider-Man, and an Iron Man costume Spider-Man. and It would have been freaking amazing, because this body type, this body uh, that they're used, is one of the best bodies. Uh, I recommend this comic book, Craven's Last Hunt. Uh, Spider-Man here has his black costume. It's one of the best uh, Spider-Man stories I've ever read. I recommend it. Uh, it's Craven, uh, Craven's Last Hunt means basically he dies in this story. It's sort of like a dark story. and uh, Well, it is a dark story. And I recommend it. The art is pretty cool. It's not superiorly... The best art in the world but this was like in 80 something I think so and there's these cool sketches at the back so I really recommend this book or just take a look at it or buy the trade you know buy the soft cover one uh, but it's a really cool story and spider-man wears his black costume which I it's one of my favorite things about Spidey so and the next review I'm going to be reviewing, guess what guys, War Machine and Iron Man. So that's going to be really cool. I'm modifying uh, this Iron Man so he'll have a chest joint. So I hope, hopefully I won't break him. But um, I'm, always, I'm almost done actually. So he'll have just as much articulation in his chest like this guy does. And if I'm able to accomplish that, then I'll do a video on him alone. But um, the next video up, I'm going to do is on War Machine and Iron Man. And another thing, guys, uh, I like to draw sometimes. So basically, uh, right now I'm working on something for a friend. So this is one of my drawings right here. And... Uh, I'm going to do shows on drawings, so I'm going to put some of my art stuff before the review. So I'll do a, I'll do a fast speed drawing, uh, time lapse, and you'll, do, you'll see the character that I'm going to review in the drawing. So that's going to be cool. Um, and uh, That'll be, that should be in a while though, because I need to get uh, a program. So, that's the end of this show. Uh, one of my best figures, posing figures, and coolest characters, Spider-Man.